So in today's video, I have a blazer dress that I want to share with you. And then I'm gonna talk about this top that I'm wearing. So I'll start with the top. The top is a Scrap Buster project. This is McCall 6164, yes. And I really like this top because the sleeves, they call for a front piece and a back piece and they're fairly small. So if you have any leftover scraps, you can probably fit, you know, you can fit the front piece in the back and just cut it out and put it together and then you'll have a sleeve. So I thought that that was nice and the back is just plain. So yeah, these are just some scraps that I used to make this top. So I like that. And oh, by the way, this fabric is a, this is a sweatshirt and these are like, this back is a cotton knit and the front is a jersey. So I just mixed it all together and it came out okay. So my next sewing make is McCall 7997 and this is the blazer dress. Now I made this dress out of some fabric that I used for a coat that I made earlier. And um, so I had enough of this leftover. So I decided to make this little blazer type dress and I really like it and it does have a lining and um, there are 22 darts so there are i believe there were 14 darts in the front in the dress i should say and then there were eight darts in the lining that's 22 right yes that's how it was there were 14 in the dress and then eight in the lining and then one thing for the buttons, I bought the buttons at Joann Fabrics and the pattern calls for seven buttons, but I only use six. I'm not quite sure where the, where the other button was supposed to go, maybe somewhere on the inside, I'm not too sure, but I only use six. And what else? I did have some trouble with the under collar. My under collar was really long, so when I was trying to attach it to the dress, it was hanging over. So I ended up cutting some of that down and I'm not sure if it created a problem for me or not but another problem that I have is with this notched collar this is my first time doing a collar like this and I had some trouble just because um, mine didn't come out as sharp as it should be and in fact one of them is even a little bit longer than the other so I just hope that it's not too noticeable when I wear it and it could be because I cut down some of my under collar so um, if I ever make this again those are some things that I'll need to work on for sure but yeah the dress doesn't have any pockets and because mine is really heavy it felt more like a coat than it did a dress so in the video clips i am going to show you this garment worn open and i wore it with some jeans and then i wore it also as a dress but knowing me i'll probably get more wear out of it as a coat because that's just how it feels it feels more like a coat and i'm sure that's because of my fabric choice as i mentioned before but yeah i will go ahead on and show you what this looks like on So those are the two garments that I've made recently. And before I go, my love share for today is that there are hummingbirds that are the size of bumblebees. That would be so cute to see a little itty bitty hummingbird flying around. Oh, how, how precious. So just wanted to share that with you and you will see me in the next video.